This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. On behalf of the session at Hydenwood Presbyterian Church, I'd love to welcome all of you who are here with us this morning to worship, whether you're here in person or you've joined us online. And I'd really like to welcome cellist uh, uh, Michael Daniels because that was beautiful. Michael is joining us this morning. You can read more about him in your bulletin. Uh, but we are so grateful for his gift of music and how it will take part in our worship this morning. For those of you who are here in person, if you don't mind taking a minute to fill out our friendship registers, let us know that you're here. If you're a visitor and you want us to contact you, please make sure you have, leave us some contact information. You find the registers at the end of your pews, and as you pass them back, make sure you look to see who, who's next to you if you don't know them so we can learn our names of our friends, both new and old. But now, won't you please join me in prayer? as we prepare for worship. O bread of heaven, come down. Come down and fill us with your spirit, for your spirit satisfies like no other. We hunger and thirst for you this morning and long to be nurtured in your love and forgiveness, so we come to this sacred time and place where our hungers are finally and fully satisfied, as only you can do. We will wait and listen for your leading in this hour. Amen. So please join me in our call to worship. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt God's name together. Please stand in body or in spirit as we sing our opening hymn.
Please be seated. Putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, confessing our sin before God and one another. Please join me in our prayer of confession. Merciful God, we confess that we have not lived as your faithful children. We have been angry with the world and nursed grudges against our adversaries. We have hoarded the fruits of our labors rather than share our bounty with the needy. We have not built up our neighbors with words of kindness, but have indulged in evil gossip. We have not forgiven the wrongs others have done, even though we desire your forgiveness towards us in Jesus Christ. Heal us, O God, and give us the grace to love as Christ loved us, and gave himself up for us. Amen. Let us put away our anger and wrath and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another in all things, as God through Christ has forgiven us. Because my friends, this is the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Please rise. My friends, peace is a gift from God, so take a moment, breathe in that peace, and hold it close. And now share that peace with those around you, because it's not ours to keep, but ours to share in all that we do. May the peace of Christ be with you. Amen. Well, once again, you see I am not a child, <laughs> although sometimes I think I act like one. Um, once again, our children are not with us this morning, so we will not have our children's message. But it is a, to kind of lead you into the scripture for today. Last week, we talked about how uh, God fed them in the, in the wilderness with manna. And today, we start with how God fed them on the mountainside with bread and fishes and reminding us at the end of our scripture lessons today that it's not just food, it's the spirit of Christ that is the bread of life that God offers us. But next time, we'll have a children's message. Good morning. The first scripture reading this morning is from John chapter 6, verses 5 through 14. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, 
Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they to among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. There was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled 12 baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, this is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second scripture reading is also from the book of John. Listen now to the word of God. 
When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, where did you come from? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it was my Father who gave you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
Please remain standing as we say out loud that which we believe. Please join me in our affirmation of faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Won't you join me once more this morning in prayer? Loving God, who watches over us like a parent, delighting in our happiness and weeping over all the ways we harm one another, guide us, nurture us, empower us to be your peacemakers and mercy bringers in this world. Merciful God, our world is full of war and violence, injustice and oppression. We are surrounded on all sides by misfortune, misinformation, half-truths and lies. Give us courage to tell the truth of your love, to protect the innocent and to resist evil in every way it presents itself. Gracious God, our neighborhoods are full of people who are struggling, struggling to make ends meet, to find stability, to find community. Empower each of us to notice, to reach out, and to love our neighbors as you have called us to love. God of hope, our lives are filled with so many reasons for despair. Loneliness abounds, uncertainty overwhelms, and suffering feels constant. So we ask that you fill us with the warmth of your love and inspire us to extend a hand, a hug, a smile, a gesture of connection in a disconnected world. Bread of life, nourish our spirits with your love, mercy, grace, and hope. Remind us of your call on our lives and empower us to be all that you are asking us to be in this world. And we ask all of this through the prayer you taught so long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our temptations <coughs> from evil. But deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Thank you, that was beautiful. Well, we have been blessed with some very beautiful music this morning. We have been blessed with God's word and prayer. And I hope that you are willing and excited to look for ways to engage with this congregation because we have so many things coming up that you can do. Uh, first, as always, we are grateful for any contributions you make, any financial donations you make. Uh, you can leave donations in, on your way out or you can make them online. And if you ever have any questions on how to do that, please feel free to reach out to the office. We can walk you through how to make an online donation if that's what you wish. We have some things we'd like to highlight. The, the school supply drive for Hydenwood Elementary School is going on now. There's a list available on the website of really pretty much anything you think of from paper and crayons and pencils to dry erase markers, the schools can probably use, I think, uh, hand sanitizer and Ziploc baggies are on the list too. Um, but the school will take any donations that we have to offer. I believe the drive goes, well, let me look, because I don't remember. It goes through August 21st, so you have another week to, a uh, week or so to bring your donations into the office. We are still continuing with our diaper drive. The, the proceeds of that drive will go to, in some part, the Whitehead family for little Andy, but also will go to Thrive to help our neighbors in need uh, in the community. The rummage sale is big. If you walked through the uh, church and saw the gym, they've already got a lot of it set up. I know that Jimmy would love some more volunteers and help, but that is coming up on uh, Saturday, August 17th, Sunday, I mean, Friday, they have the pre-sale. Uh, if you want to come early and, and look around and get first picks, they do charge $5 at the door for the pre-sale. Uh, and there's dinner, there's barbecue dinner for those who are interested. So please come and check it out. It's a great way to support the church and the proceeds, if I'm not mistaken, are going to property, is that correct? And as we all know, um, or if you don't know, the leaks are a many, so property could use a little extra help along the way. Um, and you can also sign up uh, for Rise Against Hunger, which is a great community outreach event that will be happening on September 7th. That's a Saturday. There's sign-ups already in the Narthex. And you can reach out and talk to Steve Evans if you have any questions about that. Um, but I hope that... Look in your bullet and look on the website. If, if you don't check us out on Facebook, give it a try. We've got most of our events and activities are posted there. Um, so we hope that you find some way in which to engage here in the church that brings you joy, uses your talents and gifts, and shares what you have with the community. But won't you join me again in prayer? Gracious God, you have blessed us with gifts and bounty above what we could imagine. But we still ask that you feed us this morning as you fed your first disciples. You feed us with that soul food which nourishes enough love within us to outstrip the fears and enmity that ties the world up in knots. You feed us with the spiritual bread that strengthens our hands for serving those broken and lost people whom this world deems a waste of space. Feed us so that we may be fulfilled with some of that joy which the universe cannot contain. For your love's sake, amen. Please stand once more and join us in our hymn of sending.
Jesus. May the love of God, which gives life to this world, sustain you. May the bread of life, Jesus Christ, feed you with the food that endures to eternal life. And may the power of the Holy Spirit nourish and strengthen your faith. So go out today. Live simply. Love generously. Speak truthfully. Serve faithfully. Pray daily. And leave everything else up to God. Amen.